In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that He entered in His own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city of our, for our salvation, following in His footsteps, so that being made by His grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in His resurrection and in His life. Let us pray. We are now going to bless your palm branches. Almighty ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lilibot kami ngayon para mag-bless ng inyong palm branches. You may want to raise them up to receive the blessing.
Let us pray. Let us rise, please. Almighty, ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. This mysterious servant prefigures Jesus, who identifies himself as the servant who frees all people. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. see me scoff at me they mock me with parted lips they wag their heads he relied on the Lord let him deliver him let him rescue him if he loves him My Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. My They divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. My I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. The glory of Jesus comes from the total emptying of self. His passion and death are his exaltation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, 
though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every song confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Christ became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. The Passion of the Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. The elders of the people, chief priests and scribes, arose and brought Jesus before Pilate. They brought charges against him, saying, We found this man misleading our people. He opposes the payment of taxes to Caesar and maintains that he is the king. Are you the king of the Jews? He said you to him say in reply. So. Pilate then addressed the chief priest and the crowds. I find this man not guilty. But they were adamant and said, He is inciting the people with his teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee where he began, even to here. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean. And upon learning he was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was in Jerusalem at that time. Herod was very glad to see Jesus. He had been wanting to see him for a long time, for he had been hoping to see him perform some sign. He questioned him at length, but he gave him no answer. The chief priests and scribes, meanwhile, stood by, accusing him harshly. Herod and his soldiers treated him contemptuously and mocked him. And after clothing him in resplendent garb, he sent him back to Pilate. Herod and Pilate became friends that very day, even though they had been enemies formerly. Pilate then summoned the chief priests, the rulers, and the people, and said to them, You brought this man to me and accused him of inciting the people to revolt. I have conducted my investigation in your presence and have not found this man guilty of the charges you have brought against him, nor did Herod for a send back to us. So no, no capital crime has been committed by him. Therefore, I shall have him plugged and then release him. But all together, they shouted out, Away with this man! Release Barabbas to us! Now Barabbas had been imprisoned for a rebellion that had taken place in the city and for murder. Again, Pilate addressed them, still wishing to release Jesus. But they continued their shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! 
Pilate addressed them a third time. What evil has done man has done? I found him guilty of no capital crime. Therefore I shall have him plugged and then release him. With loud shouts, however, they persisted in calling for his crucifixion, and their voices prevailed. The verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted. So he released the man who had been imprisoned for rebellion and for, for murder, for whom they asked, and he handed Jesus over to them to deal with as they wished. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country. And after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women, who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. And that at that time people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Now two others, both criminals, were led away with him to be executed. When they came to the place they called the skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, Forgive them, they do not know what they do. They divided his garments by casting lots. The people stood by and watched. The rulers, meanwhile, sneered at him and said, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him as they approached to offer him wine they called out, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, have you no fear in God? For you are subject to the, the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly. For the sentence we receive corresponds to your crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, Today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down in the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Please all kneel. Please all stand. The centurion who witnessed what had happened glorified God and said, This man was innocent beyond doubt. When all the people who had gathered for this spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances stood at a distance, including the women who had followed him from Galilee and saw these events. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Masarap umupo, ano, pagkatapos ng mahabang gospel. Huwag uh, kayong mag-alala. Ito lang at saka sa Good Friday ang mahabang gospel. But anyway, bago ko malimutan yung inyong mga palaspas, sana eh huwag natin basta-basta lang kung saan-saan ilalagay. Ano, patago natin at uh, hanggat maaari, hanggang maging tuyo na. At kung hindi nyo alam kung ano gagawin, pag tuyo na, pag uh, baka manghingi yung mga parokya ninyo, mga simbahan ninyo, manghingi niyan. Kasi yan din ang gagamitin na susunugin para sa Ash Wednesday next year. So huwag natin itatapon. Um, pag, as I said, kung medyo uh, tuyo na, pwede natin putol-putulin, lagay sa plastic. At pag manghingi yung simbahan, eh, pwede natin ibigay sa simbahan para sunugin para sa Ash Wednesday. Okay, so, para hindi sila masayang. At yun, para meron talagang pinatutunguhan niyang ating palaspas. Hindi lang siya dekorasyon, siya paalala sa atin, di ba? Katulad ng uh, uh, yung dapat sanang binasa natin na gospel bago mag-blessing mag ng palaspas, ni, inaalala natin ngayon, ngayong araw, yung pagpasok ni Jesus sa Jerusalem. Kung saan yung mga tao nag Nagdala ng mga palaspas at winawagayway, naglatag uh, ng kanilang mga balabal sa kalye para dun dumaan si Jesus. In short, winelcom nila si Jesus like a king. Masaya, maligaya, may pagdiriwang, may kagalakan, mataas na mataas yung kanilang emotion, yung kanilang pakiramdam. No? Maligaya, maligaya, nagsasaya dahil pumapasok si Jer sa Jerusalem sa kanilang bayan, si Jesus. Masaya sila, dumating si Jesus sa kanilang bayan. Yun yung first part ng ating celebration. Second part ng ating celebration, itong binasa nating gospel na ngayon, na medyo may konting, hindi lang konti, may malalim na kalungkutan. Dahil dito sa gospel natin na binasa, kung na na nakikinig tayong mabuti, ni inaalala natin yung nangyari kay Jesus sa kanyang paghihirap, sa kanyang pagpapako sa cross, sa kanyang uh, pag-insulto sa kanya, pagpapahirap sa kanya, hanggang sa kanyang kamatayan. From the galak, from the celebration of the palaspas, meron naman tayong sorrow, pighati, lungkot, dalamhati ng pahirap at kamatayan. Magkaibang magkaiba, hindi ba? Pero nung sinasabi sa atin dito, nito, Sinasabi sa atin na kasama natin ang Diyos sa galak at sa hirap, sa saya at sa lungkot, sa kabutihang palad, sa masarap na pamubuhay, ganun din sa paghihirap. Laging kasama natin ang Diyos, lalong-lalo na sa mga paghihirap. Kasi siguro minsan kapag nagsasaya tayo, parang... Minsan, nalilimutan natin kung, at hindi sa atin masyado importante kung kasama natin ang Diyos o hindi. Ano? Kasi masaya, maligaya, ma, you know, walang problema. Pero mas siguro, mas dapat natin tandaan o isaisip lagi. Hindi lang ngayon, but araw-araw. Lalo na tuwing medyo mababa ang ating pinagda, malalim ang pinating pinagdadaanan na kasama natin ang Diyos. Hindi lang kasama actually, na nanguna ang Diyos sa pakikisama sa atin, sa pakikiramay sa atin. Si siya yung nag-alay ng buhay niya, di ba? Para sa ating kaligtasan, para sa ating mas buo na buhay, siya yung nag-alay ng kanyang buhay. Hindi lang siya nakiramay, hindi lang siya nakisama, siya ang nagsakripisyo para sa atin. Kasama natin ang Diyos, lalong-lalo na sa hirap at pighati at dalamhati wala na pa, hindi na natin yung tatanungin. Sinabi sa Gospels, sinabi sa ating pananampalataya, lagi na natin yung inaalala, tinuturo sa atin, at pinapaalala sa atin sa ganitong panahon, no? sa Holy Week, inaalala natin yan, lalong-lalo pa, 
sa susunod na mga araw, pagdating na Holy Thursday, Good Friday, mas lalo pa nating alalahanin ang paghihirap ng Panginoon para sa atin, sa cross at sa kamatayan. Naalala tayo, nakikisama sa atin, nakikiramay sa atin ang Diyos. Hindi yun ang tanong. Ang tanong at challenge para sa atin, tayo ba nakikisama, nakikiramay sa ating kapwa? Tayo ba ay nakikisama, nakikiramay sa ating kapwa? Misa kapag tayo yung nasa, kapag okay yung kalagayan, kalagayan natin, di ba? Parang nalilimutan na natin yung mga nahihirapan sa paligid natin. Pero yun ang challenge na binibigay sa atin ng gospel. Hindi lang tayo dito para malugot dahil namatay si Jesus, naghirap si Jesus, na you know, pinahirapan, pinahiya, and all, and all of that. Hindi lang tayo dito para makiramdam. Sana bawat misa natin, lalong-lalo na ngayon, ay magdadala sa atin sa kahit kaunting pagbabago. At yung pagbabago na, in, na iniimbitan tayo ngayon ng gospel ay yun. Sagutin at maybe dalhin tayo sa mas, mas pa, lalo pa na tayo makiramay sa iba. Lalo pa tayong makiisa, makisama sa iba, lalo na sa panahon ng kanilang paghihirap. Dahil yun ang, dun, dun sila merong kailangan kasama. Katulad natin sa ating pagiging makasalanan, dun tayo merong kailangan kasama. At nakisama naman sa atin ng Panginoon. Kaya sa ating mga, mga taong po, kahit hindi natin kakilala, di ba? Kahit yung mga malalayo na alam natin may naghihirap, gano ba tayo nakikiramay sa kanila? Ano pang magagawa natin para makiramay sa kanila? Ano pang magagawa natin para mas mapagaan ang buhay nila? Katulad ng pagpapagaan ng buhay natin na ginawa ng Panginoon. Ano pa ang magagawa natin? Siguro yung tanong natin throughout this holy week. Ano pa bang magagawa ko para makiisa, makiramay, maki, makisama sa paghihirap ng mga tao sa paligid ko, sa paghihirap ng mga tao sa labas ng aking buhay? Let us all stand down and together let us profess our faith. <coughs> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Father, we come to you in prayer. As we share in the passion of Jesus, may we also share in his consolation. And after each petition we say, through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons, may they be true witnesses of the crucified Christ amidst poverty, suffering, illness, and rejection. We pray. To the passion of Christ, hear our prayer. For those who wish to govern our country, may they follow the example of Christ, who came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life for the good of the people. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. For the Alay Kapo program, may this be our way of responding to the challenges of restoring social justice and helping the weak and the needy. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. May those who continue to crucify Jesus by acts of violence against their brothers and sisters. May they be led to the road of repentance and atone for the evils they have done. We pray. 
Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and their personal intentions. We pray. Through the passion of Christ, listen to our prayer. Father, look tenderly on your children as we follow Christ in the joy of his entrance to Jerusalem as well as in the pains of his sacrifice on Calvary. May we be worthy to enter your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, Yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted and just condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, in joyful celebration, we too acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Please all stand. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt, or you may visit our website, www manawagminorbasilica.org for the online pamisa. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please all stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. Konting paalala lang, sabi ko nga kanina, alagaan natin, itago natin ng maayos ang mga palaspas dahil na bless na yan. So, pabayaan natin matuyo sa bahay at kapag natuyo na, pwede natin ilagay sa plastic, putol-putulin, ilagay sa plastic at ibigay sa simbahan para sa Ash Wednesday next year. Pangalawa, ito ay Holy Week na, so ang regular masses natin ng umaga ay hanggang Wednesday lang. So sa Thursday, Friday, at Saturday, walang mga misa sa umaga. Meron lang tayong mga celebration sa hapon ng Thursday at saka ng Friday at gabi ng Saturday. Okay? So walang misa sa umaga, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as it's ended, we go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, may all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.